Let's talk about private banking. Is it as good as it sounds? If you ever had more than 500,000 zlotys, Polish currency in your account, in a Polish bank, you will probably be called up by that bank and they will offer you investment services. So this happened to me not too long ago. I had uh, my cash ready to buy my first investment in Poland. They basically called me and they asked me if I want to invest in other types of investments and they set up a meeting with me. Basically, I got to know what the private banking is here. And in this video, I'll show you what you can expect from private banking in Poland. If you're new here, my name is Adrian, your real estate insider in Warsaw. I have currently three properties in Georgia Tbilisi and I just purchased my first property in Poland and I'm about to renovate it and rent it out and refinance it. As I'm growing my portfolio in Warsaw, I'm planning to tackle bigger deals and take on private investors with me. If you're interested in learning more, join our Facebook group and message me directly. So what is private banking really? Well, basically it's the same banking services, but you have a private banker who is responsible for your needs. So let's say you want some estate planning advice or you want to connect with a mortgage broker, you want to resolve some issues with your accounts, you want to invest in some vehicles such as funds or, or savings accounts and you want more detailed information. And if you have any other banking related questions, you can just directly call your private banker. They also do offer some concierge service where you can basically call your concierge and ask them to book you flights or do small tasks for you. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I don't need it right now, but I, I could see how that can be helpful for some people. Private banking is something that banks offer to their high net worth individuals. And due to the Polish economy growing year over year, there are more and more high net worth individuals in Poland. According to a report by Knight Frank, the high net worth individuals have increased by 7% 2020 to 2021, and they're at a total of 18,000. So what's the focus? The focus is basically better services, more tailored services to each individual's need. I was talking to my banker and there are people who need credit lines up to a million zloty or a million dollars. And this can be very helpful for bigger businesses. You basically get faster customer service and better customer service as you are connected to one person who can handle your banking needs. That's very valuable for me because I do have more unusual transactions big transactions, money moving across borders. So this can be very helpful for you if you are an expat or if you are doing business outside of Poland. So just for your reference, I do have private banking in Georgia. I have it with Solo Bank of Georgia. I got better mortgage rates. I got better terms on my loans. And I basically had a credit card which I used for my previous Amazon business. That credit card really helped me to pay for some advertising services two months after the date of the payment. This helped my cash flow. I personally had a good experience with private banking before. Here I just started using Prestige, which is a service provided by Millennium. So let's start with Prestige. After I deposited my cash that I was going to invest in real estate here, they contacted me and they asked me if I was interested in private banking. This was a surprise because I remember when I came to Poland, I wanted to get into this directly. The entry level was much higher. In Georgia, this was not the case. With five to $10,000 deposit, you could get into private banking at that, at that year where I was living there. They probably hired the barriers now, but here the barrier was already above 20 to 40 to $50,000. And for some banks, which we'll get into, it's as high as a million dollars. So about prestige, I can tell you that at any time you need minimum 100,000 Polish zlotys to just keep your account maintained. And if you don't have that, you have to pay a monthly fee of 75 to 100 zlotys or more. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research and talk to your bank representatives to see what is the up-to-date information. So as a private banking customer, I'm also provided with a credit card and a debit card option. The debit card option is basically free. I can use it at any time I want. The gold credit card gives some extra options. So I'll tell you some of the options that they mentioned to me. So basically with this gold credit card, we get premium health insurance without any extra costs. And bear in mind, you do need to be a private banking customer to get this gold credit card from Prestige. You get travel insurance and baggage insurance and all of that also for free included in the card. You get airport lounge access, the VIP access, and the concierge service is actually included in the credit card. I don't think it's included without the credit card. Unfortunately, this is not available 
to normal customers so you do need to be a customer with the gold credit card to get these services and they also told me that if you have home emergencies let's say plumbing issues or your fridge doesn't work anymore you have some water damages somewhere the good thing with this credit card is that you can actually call a number and they will come and fix it for you for free it's included in the credit card as a service and the only thing you pay for is going to be the materials that they are using to repair so that's amazing. I mean, for me as a landlord, that would probably be very helpful. Of course, I shouldn't tell them that I'm a landlord or I'm renting it to someone else. But anyways, one sad thing that I have to tell you about is that even though I am a European Union citizen, to apply for this credit card, their systems, their technical systems and programming does not allow me to apply for this credit card because you need the Carta Pobetu, the real one, which is like the Polish Carta Pobetu. Mine is the EU residence, which is not really that one. So at this point, my banker is trying to ultimately message the supervisors and get this card manually, but it would be much easier if you're out from outside the EU and you have the right card to apply for the private banking. If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell button below. I'll be releasing more videos about real estate in Poland and Warsaw in the future. So remember that most banks in Poland do offer private banking services. Some of the other ones that I know of is Alior. So they need a minimum of half a million zloty in your bank account. Otherwise, they will require you to pay 100 zlotys per month to maintain that private banking account. I also checked MBank. Their requirement is 1 million zloty. But as you know from my previous video, I do not like the MBank application and it might be reflecting on their private banking services also. I know also that Citi provides some private banking services. They require you to have minimum 500,000 zlotys or 4 million, depending on if you're going for Citi Gold or Citi Gold Private and I'm not sure exactly what is included in City Call Private but you can do your own research and see what is suitable for your situation and basically BNP Paribas, Velo Bank, Santander all of them have their own private banking sections as we talked high net worth individuals in Poland is going up very fast as the economy is growing and industry leaders are in need of better and more premium banking services. So the first thing I did when I signed up for my Millennium Prestige account, my banker recommended me to invest in Polish government bonds. And in the last six months, these bonds have been going up around 8% just by the last six months. And as soon as the interest rates drop, the value of these bonds will go even higher because people can borrow more money cheaper and invest in government secured bonds. The good thing with the bonds from millennium is that they only take 1% fee and the 8.2% growth has been with the fee included so the return is even higher and 1% management fee is not that high and you can also buy and sell for free at any time that you wish it just takes a while let's say about seven working days for your fund orders to get sold and bought and that's a bit annoying but it's okay. I also know that for normal customers they have this 7.5% interest up to 300,000 what is this is uh, the bank is securing it and there's no up and downs it's just 7.5 percent and these are promotional interest rates so i was talking to city and they also have a 7.5 percent up to 500,000 zlotys but it's up to a certain term so it's not forever so you can basically take advantage of each of the bank's promotion as they come up to stay up to date with the polish real estate market consider joining our facebook group where you can talk to other local warsaw investors who speak english and i'm planning to make monthly meetups for us who are investing in warsaw and i'm sure we can help each other reach financial freedom from what i see currently the mortgage rates for private banking customers and normal customers is not differing much they do have a little asterisk on their mortgage pages i'm talking about millennium now that if you're an active customer you can actually get a 0.5 percent discount on your interest rate which is quite a quite a lot honestly so what do they mean by active customers well it's about how many transactions you do and how much money you have with them and if you're receiving your salary in their banks as of this point my opinion is that the normal banking and the private banking is not too different there is a little difference i guess the personal service is the main point offers between the banks do not seem very diversified but as i research more as i have more contact with different banks i'll let you know and update you on exactly what is different. other banks i mean how fast can they change their offers we don't know there's a lot of bu bureaucracy involved but i'll tell you from my own experience it's been amazing to have a 
direct contact with the bank and you can get a lot from this relationship as you can tap into their networks and they know many people inside the bank who can give you the right information and this is crucial honestly this is probably one of the best and biggest selling points for me even if i did not have enough money to be an automatic private banking client i would probably pay the fee just to get access to the right people it's just for me it's an immense value there to be able to get the right information at the right time especially if I'm doing real estate deals or deals where financing is a crucial part to that deal. As you know, you might be doing a deal and then at the end of the deal, you find out a little rule that can break or make the deal. So it's crucial to have the right information at the right time before you're going through with your underwriting process. So remember, with all the flashiness, with all these beautiful names, prestige, gold card, city private and all this stuff, your f financial future is still in your hands, okay? It's still your decisions and your responsibility to make you grow richer and wealthier, smarter and better. So the bank employees are probably not gonna make you rich, only if they knew how. I actually made another video about mortgage loans in Poland and what you can generally expect from my experience. Watch the video right here. See you there. Bye bye. Mm, I love herbal tea.